Hi guys, today we're going to build an NFT minting contract for your NFT community without code and deploy it for $20 on Ethereum mainnet. We also have very cheap minting fees because we're using a ERC721A contract uh, pioneered by a very popular NFT collection called Azuki and we will do everything, uh, everything without a line of code written. So let's start. Right now we need to have a, a Web3 wallet, uh, so like MetaMask or you can search to uh, to search in Google like how to create your own wallet and uh, I already have MetaMask, so let's start. I'm just going to quickly log in. So I'm just going to click create and uh, I'll create a new collection called Billship Early Pass which is, will be sent to Billship Early users in, as a reward. And I'll have 1000 NFTs and I'll reserve 10 of them for me, for my friends, my team, and giveaways. I'll be able to mint them for free. And I also, also um, want a public minting process, basically. So I'll allow people to mint this NFT for 0 0.01 Ethereum. And I want them to mint no more than three NFTs per transaction. So let's continue. I'll have... Uh, also now I need to upload my placeholder or pre-reveal image to IPFS. IPFS is a decentralized storage and it's basically like Google Drive but where you control your own images and if you want to do instant reveals you don't want a placeholder which uh, then you can just skip this and upload something here and then just upload the actual art later but for now I'm just gonna use my logo you can also use a question mark or a token image um, let's upload it to IPFS it will take a while yeah, so I successfully deployed the placeholder image, and right now we're just gonna create our own contract on fake Ethereum blockchain, which is also called Testnet. And to do it, I need to get my fake Ethereum, which I can get, I can get for free, so it's not very costly or anything. And I have to visit chain link uh, faucet. Uh, the link will be in the description. So I have to click that I wanna 0 0.1 Testnet Ethereum. I have to use my actual wallet address. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna request my chain link, it, it does not if, and uh, wait for the confirmation. And since I already have it, I'm just not gonna wait. And let's just click on deploy contract. Let's wait for the transaction to confirm. Okay. We successfully created the contract on the fake Ethereum blockchain. And uh, let's now upload the artwork. Uh, so I'll be using my artwork that I created beforehand. You can use your own. It'll also take a while since we are also plotting to IPFS, uh, which is also a decentralized storage. The artwork is successfully uploaded, and uh, now we have to upload our own metadata. If you use the service to generate artwork, you already have this metadata. If you ha don't know where to generate your artwork, you have uh, layers, and you want to generate your artwork, uh, you can use NFT Inator, or you can ask your artist, uh, uh, that your generative art artist, basically, to generate the assets for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, so if you have your metadata, which is basically a folder of files called 1.json, 2.json, 3.json, and something like that, it's important that they, that the artwork and the JSON files are called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. So this, I'm just going to click upload and it will automatically modify my JSON files so they look like that internally. They'll add the IPFS links to my images and I'll also make them start from zero because build ship contracts, uh, NFTs and build ship contracts start from zero. So you don't have to do anything, you just click on upload and it will work. Okay, we successfully uploaded our artwork and right now we, all we need to do is to reveal it. We can do that now if you want to do an instant reveal so users will not get a placeholder random image. but uh, we can also do an instant reveal, and yeah, we can also do a later reveal where people will get uh, a question mark, 
So basically, they don't know what they'll get. But then, like, three years later, after minting, they'll uh, finally reveal what they'll get. Uh, right now, we're going to do instant reveal. And let's reveal the artwork. Just run a transaction. If you want to, like, so this uh, was uploaded to NFT storage. But if you want uh, extra safety, you can use this link, like, artwork and metadata hashes and upload them to into Pinata. This is this costs if you want to upload more than one gigabyte, but that way you will make sure that this content will last in the decentralized IPFS network as long as you pay for Pinata. Uh, the NFT storage is also very trustable because it's backed by Filecoin, a very trustable company, but uh, no one guarantees actually that this uh, content will last forever since it's a free service. So if you want it to last forever, you can repin it uh, using these hashes on Pinata. So now uh, we revealed our artwork and we can just go back to our main page and uh, let's mint reserve. And uh, so which reserved earlier for me. So this will be a free mint. I will just enter one because we want to mint one. And uh, let's click on confirm and wait for it to mint. Let's visit OpenSea. So OpenSea already created our NFT collection. And as, as we can see, the artwork is black, so it means we revealed already. So the placeholder I uploaded was white. So the reveal works. And if you want to hide the artwork, there's also a button to hide the artwork. And uh, we can also now uh, set up our minting page. But first, let's create a new pre-sale list. If you don't need it, you can skip this part and just go straight to straight to set up, setting up our mm, minting page. So let's create a new pre-sale list, which is called, which will have vshat ETH, which is my wallet and my friend's wallet, caffeinum.eth. And mm, I'll have one limit, uh, one NFT per wallet limit, and uh, the price for pre-sale people will be zero ETH. So let's click on upload. And now we should create our own testnet contract, which is called pre-sale list extension. Uh, this this is done through our separate uh, service. And you can just click deploy. It will cost only $50 on mainnet, but on fake Ethereum testnet, we basically don't pay anything. Let's just wait. And now we have to verify our contract in Etherscan. So the contract was successfully created. By Etherscan is very important for OG and a few community users. So they, they also want to see the, the code, the, how the contract works. So basically we need to show them how the contract works and that's called verification. You just need to wait here. You didn't have to do anything. Okay, we successfully deployed the contract. We can view it on Etherscan. It's the pre-sale list, which is basically works with Merkle proofs. But you don't need to understand that if you don't, it's just for those who understand. So the minting app was created, a pre-sale list minting app. And now we need to allow our main contract to mint from, from this minting app. Basically, let's just click allow. You don't need to understand what's going on here. You just click allow, click confirm. It will cost like $5 on mainnet. And let's wait. OK, we successfully added a minting app. And right now, here is the minting app. I can start a minting on my pre-sale and update the price if I want to. Uh, let's, let's start the minting since I want to test it on my website. And let's set up our minting page. Uh, let's go to webflow.com dash slash dashboard. And I have already a website prepared. If you don't have it, you can uh, clone our own uh, template, uh, build, uh, template from BuildChip on webflow.com, the chat if. Here's this, here's the one. I already have it. So I'm just going to use this. And 
to set up my minting page, which was also covered in the previous video, I'll just copy this code and uh, pass it in Webflow. And here is the code. And since I want to test my pre-sale minting, I'm just going to create a new button called, uh, so one button will be mint robotos and one button will be mint pre-sale. So mint robotos will have an ID called mint button. So this will be a public mint button. But for making a mint pre-sale button, I'll uh, call it mint whitelist. And it will automatically fetch the price, uh, the correct price for public minting and for free minting. And you'll easily launch. So I published the website, let's check it out. So if I want to press Mint Robotos, it's saying that a sale not started. Okay, because I didn't start the public minting yet. And if I want to mint pre-sale, then I just click on mint pre-sale and uh, the sale should work. The minting, sorry. And uh, I just click on mint. Let's just mint NFT. Just I just minted my NFT since I'm in the pre-sale list. I also want to try and connect different wallet and then understand that I can't because I'm not in the list. So let, let it let it mint first. Okay, so now just connect a different wallet. Let's say I want to connect this one. And uh, Yeah, I'm clicking on mid pre-sale and it's saying that your wallet is not in the pre-sale list. So basically uh, you can't, but you can still do the public mint when you start the minting, which can be easily started from the dashboard. Let's do that. And there is a button start public mint. You, you should press it only when you launch because uh, if you're on the menu, of course, we are still on the fake testnet because people are sometimes able to snipe your collection before you even post it on Twitter. Uh, okay, so let's just press on mint. I can mint three, and it will cost me the same gas if I mint even one, because of the of the contract that we're you know, the amazing contract we're using. Let's mint. Wait for it to mint. Okay, successfully minted three NFT. So. If I want to withdraw funds, I can use, use this function. I'm not going to cover that because it's trivial. Uh, the funds will be gone to the owner wallet. So to launch the main map, you just click on, if you think that everything works in testnet, you can click on launch contract on main map. And see, I'm auto approved to launch. So in BuildShip, we're auto approving you if you're raising less than 100 Ethereum, which is basically right now around $100,000. Uh, but if you're raising more than that, you'll have to apply for early access at HTTPS buildship XYZ apply slash apply. Basically, a uh, short questionnaire about your community and um, what you're building to avoid uh, scams or rock pools. So let, let's try and see how much the deployment on mainnet costs. We'll have to, so when you deploy on mainnet, you'll have to pay like with real Ethereum. Uh, but uh, it will cost really a, a, a lot less than the, if you deploy with your own Solidity developer or uh, with different platforms. So right now it costs only $30 to create your own NFT contract. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but when you deploy in mainnet, you'll have to uh, do everything again except for uploading the artwork. So if you upload the artwork, you can just use the artwork you uploaded previously, but for everything else, you'd have to start to do the same again um, as the final process. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching this video. You can also support BuildShip and Gitcoin Run 14. You can also share this video with your friends or uh, with your NFT community to understand how easy right now it is to build your own NFT community. You can also check out our, our tools because sometimes it's very hard to upload large folders to IPFS and you can use the NFT storage desktop app called NFT Up. You can also sometimes uh, 
struggle to generate art, you can use this one. You can also later sometimes do a minting with 1,000 free mints first and <clears throat> paid mints later. And you can use our reduce price first minting functions and stay updated, like follow our Twitter and join our Discord, links in the description, uh, to stay updated and uh, watch our new features for communities. And uh, yeah, happy, happy building. <laughs>